I don't know what it is. I clam up when I have to say good morning to my vlog. It just, I don't know why it's so awkward for me. I'm like, good morning vlog. Like, I don't know why that's so awkward for me. What if I, what if I started off every vlog like, hi guys, welcome to the vlog. Oh, that's kind of cute. Good morning, you guys. Welcome back to the vlog. <laughs> I'm in Illinois with my cat. Do you guys remember when I took Venus to Illinois last year and he had like the worst time? Venus was not happy to be here. Roger is thriving. I feel like the world's coolest mom because I've never seen Roger so happy in his life. I've been posting TikToks about my experience bringing Roger to Illinois, so I'm sure you've seen those, but I knew that Roger was going to be a good travel companion because he's not like a regular cat. He doesn't get freaked out in new surroundings at all. I moved to LA with him from Rhode Island. In LA, I've moved around to like five apartments with Roger. I took him to an Airbnb once in Malibu, and all of these times, like he doesn't hide behind furniture. He just checks the place out you know, and then kicks back on the couch. Like, he's not like a regular cat. I've never seen Roger so euphoric in my years of having him, and I'm so happy that he's happy. He loves being the only cat, and he loves living in a house. He likes sitting on the windowsills when I open up the windows. There's screens, obviously, in the windows, but I'll open them, and he'll just, like, sit on the windowsill for hours on end. Me and Colin were watching Cutthroat Kitchen last night, and they were making rice and beans, so... Naturally, we were like, Taco Bell, Taco Bell. I want Taco Bell. We ordered Taco Bell. There's Diablo sauce all over the living room. I want to give you guys an Airbnb tour because I'm staying in an Airbnb, but it's trashed right now. So I'm going to clean first and then I'll sh give you an Airbnb tour. <laughs> he follows me around everywhere. If I just walk up and down the stairs all day, he'll just follow me up and down the stairs all day. Okay, I just cleaned. I'll give you a tour. I chose this place because we stayed in an Airbnb in St. Charles, I think, in December. The Airbnb we stayed at in December was so cute. It was in St. Charles, and the host was just so awesome. Like, she was my girl for real. Like, she was just so cool. And this is also her Airbnb, so I wanted to stay at another one of her Airbnbs because she's just so cool. Because the Airbnb I stayed at in January, the hosts were scary. So this is when you first walk in. The living room is here. The couch is really comfortable. It's just like you just sink right into the couch. It's really good. The first morning I was here, I sat on this couch and I drank my coffee with Roger and I was like, wow. This is a really comfortable couch. I love the couch. And this, game changer. Oh my God, I've seen these before, but I didn't know what they were. And then I was sitting here on the first day. I was like, oh my God, I can put my coffee on that platter and just stick it right next to me and the coffee won't spill. That is a, why didn't I think of that first? What an invention. I love this. So the living room's cute. And then the kitchen is over here. So cute. Roger's eating his dry food. The backyard is super cute. We have that deck. There's like a fire pit back there. It's just been so cold, so I haven't been able to go outside, but the backyard's cute. This is where I'm keeping Roger's litter box. This is like a little guest bathroom. The last Airbnb that we stayed at with this host, there was no dishwasher in the kitchen. So I'm really happy that there's a dishwasher in this kitchen. That just, that's everything to me. You guys have no idea. Okay, and then here are the stairs. Roger had never seen a flight of stairs before coming to this house, and he's been killing it. Look how big he is. You're so good. Yeah, we got here. I was like, oh my god, Roger's never seen a flight of stairs before, but he was like really scared of them at first, but he adapted really quick, and he's killing it. I've been taking loads of selfies in this mirror, and then the bathroom is this. Yeah. This is the bathroom. The shower head is really low, so Colin has to duck when he washes his hair. But I love the shower. I love the lighting in here too, it's really good. And then this is the bedroom, super cute. I've been opening up this window when we sleep at night and Roger just like sits in the windowsill and he loves it. It's been really nice because my apartment doesn't have window, well it has windows but you can't open up the windows. And I love, I've always loved like living with just like windows open all the time and sleeping with the windows open and cleaning with the windows open, but mine don't open. So it's been really sad. So it's nice having windows. I'm making another coffee. I always forget that 
whenever I come to Airbnbs, there's no straws here, so I always forget to get them at the grocery store. I've been using this Dunkin' straw to drink my coffees for like three days. They didn't have any of my creamers that I like at the grocery store. I like this Starbucks non-dairy caramel macchiato, I think it's called. That one is so good. And then the, um, I think it's the Natural Bliss. I could be wrong. That one's bomb. I don't even know if I, I said the brand right though, but this one's good too. I found this one. It's the Calthea Farms Almond Milk Creamer and Caramel Macchiato. This one's good too. The birds outside here are arguably more annoying than my parrot that lives in my apartment. Wait, I want the squirrel to come inside. The squirrel was just begging at the door and I was literally about to let it inside. I tried to lure a goose into the Airbnb in December. And I was like, wait, what would actually happen if this goose, if I actually got the goose to come inside? All good things. The goose didn't end up coming inside, but I totally would have let that squirrel in. I used to have a pet squirrel named Chippy. He was a good squirrel. I have a pretty tragic update on my living situation. Um, back in LA. Well, it's not tragic. I'm figuring it out. I'm rolling with the punches, if you will. So basically my house was supposed to be done with the renovations by March, but that got pushed back to like late April. And my lease for my apartment ends on April 16th. Well, my mom reached out to my apartment building like in January, I believe. And she was like, hey, and she explained my situation. She was like, you know, the house renovations might not be done by the time my lease is up. Is there any way I can extend my lease? And they were like, yeah, just keep us updated. Like when your lease is up, you can rent month by month. So we were like, cool, okay. So by the way, my mom works for me. She's on my payroll. I don't just like have my mommy do everything for me. She's on payroll, I promise. Um, so my mom reaches out to my apartment building the other day and she's like, hey, I'm gonna need to extend my lease a month like you said I could. And they were like, oh no, you can't. We rented out your apartment. And she was like, I thought you said I could just let you know and we could do like a month by month thing. And they were like, well, yeah, you should have let us know sooner because we already rented out your apartment, you have to be out by April 16th. My house is not gonna be done by April 16th, okay? I received that email yesterday while I was running on the treadmill. I was like, oh boy, a lot of fun things are waiting for me back home. But, um, so here's what I'm gonna do. The floors and pretty much everything in my house besides the kitchen is gonna be done on April 16th. So I can theoretically move all of my stuff to my house and everything will be fine. So here's my plan for when I get home. I am going to start clearing out all of my shit and junk when I get home. I'm getting home on April 7th. So when I get home on April 7th, I'm gonna, I've been planning on just like cle cleaning out a bunch of my clothes, my junk that I don't use and just getting rid of a bunch of shit, doing like a spring cleaning if you will. So I'm gonna start doing that on April 7th and I'm just gonna get rid of as much stuff as I can and then I'm gonna start packing. I'm gonna pack up my entire life and all of my stuff in boxes and I'm gonna have a moving company take all of my furniture, all of those boxes and stuff to my house on April 16th. And they're gonna be able to like set up all of the furniture and stuff like that because the floors are done. So that's good. And then because I had that condo in Rhode Island, I have like a giant moving truck just filled with all of my furniture from Rhode Island that's gonna drive over to LA and it's gonna drop all of my furniture off at my house as well. And then while I wait for my house to be completely done, I might rent a one bedroom unit in my apartment building because they do like daily weekly, monthly rentals of one bedroom apartments that are completely furnished at my apartment. So I think I'm gonna do that. There's a man in my backyard. Oh, that must be the man that feeds the cats back there. The Airbnb host was like, there's no geese at this house, but there are cats that linger in the backyard and they will never leave because there's an old man that feeds them. And I was like, wait, I love that. That's even better than geese. I think that's the man that feeds the cats. Oh, he's like looking for them. That's so cute. Um, I've also been putting off buying furniture because I wasn't sure when my house was gonna be done. So I guess when I settle into my new apartment in my apartment building, I will start ordering all of the furniture that I need for my house and get that all starting to send over. Hello, my boy. Me and Colin did a little bit of shopping last night, so I'm gonna do a little try on haul. I love going to the Oak Brook Center. It's like my favorite mall in the entire world. It's in 
It's here in Illinois, <laughs> but I love it there. They have all of my favorite stores. I got a couple of things, so I'm going to do a try on haul. Oh, first, I got this. Hold on. Let me make sure my tits are now. I got a bandeau at Victoria's Secret because I don't like wearing bras, but I don't like when my tits are, like, prominent. Not like I have giant tits, but I don't like when you can, like, see them through my shirt. So, but I don't like wearing bras because I don't like when the strap shows. Even when I'm wearing like a crew neck and you can see like a strap to my sports bra or like my bra like poking up, I don't like that. So I wanted to get just like a little black bandeau and it's perfect. I love it. I got the wrong sweatpants at the store. Wait, how did I do that? Oh my God. Okay. Well, I got the super, <laughs> wait, I got the wrong sweatpants. Anyways, I'm like really big in my sweatsuit era right now, even though summer is approaching. I'm finding all f really good sweatsuits, so I keep buying them, like matching sets. And I've never tried an Aritzia sweatsuit before, I just never have. And my friend Valerie was like, why have you never tried an Aritzia sweatsuit? I was like, I don't know, I just never have. So I wanted to get one yesterday i don't even have just like a plain gray sweatsuit so i wanted this one this hoodie and then i tried on these first these straight leg sweatpants in an extra small but they're really tight right here they're not comfortable because they're so tight so i but but the legs are really big so i'm like i don't really want like a, a, the size up because then they're going to be even bigger um but i tried on the small anyways and it ended up working out better then I tried on the joggers, loved them. I went with the joggers, but I didn't make it home with the joggers, I guess. I made it home with the extra small straight leg that I cannot breathe in. What do I do? I don't want to go back to Oprah today, it's kind of far. How did I do that? Well, this was supposed to be really good, but now I have to go back. I love this bandeau. I might just wear it all the time with nothing on top. It's kind of cute. You're just so happy to be here. Am I the world's coolest mom? I am the world's coolest mom. Roger has just never been this happy in his life. I fear he's going to be really confused and sad when we go back to LA. He thinks all the other cats died and he's thrilled about it. Little does he know. I wonder if they're looking for him. He's not looking for them. I also went to Aloe and I got the head to toe glow oil and i got the renew and glow body polish these are my two favorite shower products i tried the oc ones the oc body scrub and the oc body oil and i honestly really like them but they don't smell good the body oil smells okay but the body scrub just smells like algae and like that's what it is, but like, put a fragrance. Fragrance free. Like, I don't want fragrance free. This shit smells really good, so I got these. Oh, I also got these vitamin C shots for me and Colin, but we forgot to take them. And then I got this cute little t-shirt from Abercrombie. It says Spicy Margs. I think this would be so cute with like a little pair of jean shorts in the springtime. Love a Spicy Marg. I might drink spicy marks tonight, who knows. I'm going out to the local Olive Garden. <laughs> but yeah, this is really cute. And then I got this one piece from Aritzia. I don't normally wear things like this, but I tried it on anyways because I got this one piece from 437, I think that's what the brand is. And it's so flattering, but I don't like how it's like, it's like a tank top and then it's leggings. I can't wear leggings to the gym, I get too hot. But it looked really good on me, so I tried this one on, and I really like it, but the shorts are five inch. I asked if they had three inch ones, because I don't like anything that resembles a biker short, but they only make five inch ones, which is fine, I got it anyways. Cause it's kind of cute. I don't know, I might wear it to the gym today. And then I finally caved. I got the camo sweatshirt from Abercrombie. They had one left. I always see this when I go to Abercrombie. I'm like, no, I'm not buying that. It's like really cute. I had to get it. I kind of love it. I asked if they had the matching sweatpants for it in store and they didn't. So I ordered them and I got next day delivery. So they're going to be here on Saturday. So imagine this with the matching sweats. It's going to be good. And then I also just got more crew socks from Maritzia because I love these socks. 
Oh, wait, I didn't even... Ugh! Why do I keep doing things wrong? I don't like that. How did I not notice that? I don't like that at all. I Do I have to go back to the mall today? I really don't want to. It's kind of far. I made breakfast. I did toast with butter and vegan eggs. And here's what we're going to do. I was going to go out for breakfast, but it's kind of tricky finding places around here that have like a good vegan meal for me. Like I don't want, I don't want a fruit cup and it's just like hard finding. I don't know if I've ever found a place with like a vegan breakfast sandwich or like something like that around here. So I don't feel like it, but I'm putting vegan Parmesan on top of the eggs. This is the best way to make scrambled eggs. And then they didn't have my hot sauce at the grocery store, so I got sriracha. And honestly, it's really good on eggs. So. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna watch a YouTube video and eat my breakfast. And then I have a couple errands to run. I don't know if I'm gonna go to the gym. Mm. I might just wear my gym outfit when I'm running errands because I don't know if Colin's gonna be back in time from work to go to the gym with me. So I'm just gonna wear my gym clothes out just in case I have to go to the gym without him. I don't wanna go to the gym without him. I love going to the gym with him. But quick break from the video to give you guys potentially the best news you'll ever hear. I'm doing a giveaway with Love Honey. Let me give you a little bit of backstory here. I had my first orgasm April of 2021. I was 22 years old. I had no idea that was a thing. And it was from using things like this. These ones are Love Honey. I've been using Love Honey products for since I started. Love Honey is the biggest online retailer for sex toys, lingerie. Love Honey is just really that girl. This one is the Womanizer Next, and then this one is the Womanizer Liberty 2. This one actually has the new 3D Pleasure Air technology, so it has improved suction, which I love. The toys that I personally reach for and recommend are suction toys. They're just the best. So this one's got that new Pleasure Air technology. I love it. And then this one's just perfect for travel. It's so small and compact. It has a little case. How cute. So to enter the giveaway, just click the link down in my description and sign up for Love Honey. And then you'll receive your first gift voucher in your email a couple minutes after you sign up. And then when you visit lovehoney.com using the link that you receive in your email, your gift voucher will just be automatically applied to your cart. It's super easy. And then they also do like weekly giveaways for toys all throughout the year. They announce those over on their Instagram. So I love how it's a giveaway where everybody wins. Cause I feel like whenever I enter a giveaway, I never win, ever. Like whatever happened to the like sweet life of Zack and Cody sweepstakes on like the Danimals from back in the day, I never won anything like that. But with this, everybody wins. Everyone gets a gift voucher. It's so awesome and perfect. So thank you so much, Love Honey, for always allowing me to be the bearer of great news. I love you guys. May the odds be ever in your favor, but they will be because everyone wins. Like I can't get over that. Okay, I love you, Love Honey. Back to the video. Okay, I just posted a couple brand deals that had to go live. Now I'm gonna head out. I wish I had a to-go cup for my coffee. Me and Colin did a live on OnlyFans the other day and we have a wheel. <laughs> Hold on. Flash tits or ass? No. Imagine I just whipped out my tits right now. That's not happening. I didn't rent a car this week because Colin is letting me drive his Volkswagen. Her name is, or his name is Hans. That's the car's name. Colin has two cars. He has this, which is like his everyday driver. He takes this one to work and then he has his Camaro. So I normally can't use his Volkswagen when I'm here. I have to rent a car because he can't drive his Camaro to work. He has to drive this to work and I can't drive his Camaro because it's stick shift and I don't know how to drive stick. But his friend Jonah let him take his truck for the week so I get the Volkswagen. Okay, we have some errands to run. I'm a little bit sad because Colin's work will just like send him out of town sometimes for out of town jobs, you know? And we're 99% sure that he needs to go out of town next week. Today's Friday. We're 99% sure that he's gonna have to go out of town on Monday to this like middle of nowhere town in Illinois. It's like two hours away and it's just stressful because I have this Airbnb here so I don't really want to have to like leave the Airbnb 
go stay at the Econo Lodge in the middle of nowhere with my cat. Like, I I want to stay here, but I don't want to make him. He was like, no, you can just stay here. It's fine. I'll just drive to and from this town every day, but it's two hours. I don't want to make him do that. He would have to leave at like 3.45 in the morning every day. And if he just drives to and from every day, I would have to pick him up on Monday and I would have to drive him on Thursday because he has to like drive the semi back to the job. I don't know. But I'm like, I don't want to drive to Gridley, Illinois at 3.45 in the morning on Thursday. I don't want to. And I don't want to make him do that. So I guess if he has to do this job i'm gonna ask the airbnb host if i can shorten our trip i don't know if she'll say yes or no and then we'll take roger to the econo lodge in um this little town and it'll be fine i just love this airbnb and i don't really want to leave but okay i have to go to the tanning salon it's kind of far away but i haven't been tanning in like a week okay i thought i was gonna have to go to the one in naperville but there is a palm beach tan in schaumburg so I'm gonna go to that one because it's a little bit closer. I love this album so much, I don't even know what to do with myself. Did I ever give you guys a top five? I think I might have, but I might have not, and that's so important. It's actually funny because my top five, when I first listened to an album, I definitely did give you guys my top five but my top five when I first listen to an album is always so different than like my thoughts a couple weeks after the album comes out but my top five is very similar still to what it was when the album first came out so yeah I definitely already gave you guys a top five but this is my updated top five I wish I hated you supernatural we can't be friends eternal sunshine and true story I think that's actually my exact top five that I told you guys a couple weeks ago <laughs> that never happens. The songs that I didn't like originally, not that I didn't like them, they just like weren't my, like I just like, they weren't the songs that I reached for, were Imperfect For You, Ordinary Things, and The Boy Is Mine, but now they're growing on me. I'm at Palm Beach Tan. I think there's locations of Palm Beach Tan like virtually everywhere besides Rhode Island. Um, I used to just, I have a membership to Planet Fitness for whenever I go away so I can like use the gym as I please, but I used to just go to Planet Fitness to tan whenever I was away on vacation, but honestly now I just find a Palm Beach tan and I go there. I don't care how far of a drive it is because the tan is just so much better than Planet Fitness. I feel like whenever I tan at Planet Fitness, I just burn and I don't look good. So now I just make sure that I'm always coming to a Palm Beach tan. I burned my vagina because I always wear underwear when I'm in the tanning bed. I don't know why. I've just always like wanted to protect the, the put. <laughs> I've always wanted to protect my vagina from those harmful UV rays, but I just simply didn't wear underwear today. I don't know why I didn't wear underwear today, but so my vagina is burned. I'm fueling up right now at the gas station. I had to come to four. This is the fourth gas station I've come to looking for diesel gas because that's what goes in Colin's car. I'm like, wait, what isn't, why would anybody want to have a diesel car? That sounds so inconvenient. Cause like, why did I just go to three gas stations and have to like leave because they don't have diesel gas that sounds so inconvenient i was like colin why do you have this but he sent me a gas station that has diesel gas so i'm fueling up okay i just stopped at the liquor store and got a bottle of wine because i'm going out to dinner with all of colin's friends tonight and i need to pregame or i won't speak so i say so after everything i say i'm sorry i'll try to stop doing that so i'm glad i'm finally meeting his friends i've met a couple of his friends i went out to dinner with Jonah and Matthew um, like a while ago and that was fine that was fun I pre-gamed I'm okay like meeting people and hanging out with people if we're like going out to dinner and having cocktails that's completely fine with me it's just like sometimes his friends will hit him up at like noon and be like hey can we swing by and I'm like no I'm so extremely introverted I can't just like hang out with people in the middle of the day um, so I was like, Colin, I really want to meet your friends, but it has, it's got to be in a dinner setting where mommy can have some wine because I do enjoy being social and talking 
if it's over cocktails, but if I'm not drinking, I know this sounds bad, but if I'm not drinking cocktails, I just won't speak. I'm so beyond introverted. It's like the last thing I want to do when I'm just like, I don't know, but we're going to the Olive Garden later with like eight of his friends. So I will be drinking a bottle of wine while I get ready. I'm so sad. I just got home and I listened to MGK and Trippy Red's new album on the way here. It just came out last night. Toughest listen I've potentially ever had. I just texted my MGK group chat. I love MGK, okay? I love him so much. I texted my MGK group chat. I said that entire album was the toughest listen I've had in a while. Those are like possibly the worst songs I've ever heard. I'm just being honest. Beauty is fine, but I honestly like, Beauty is the only one that is fine and sounds like they took more than five minutes to make. I still don't even know if I would listen to that one again. So, Roger, where's my kitty? Hello, Bo. I am home. Hello. I came home for you. I've been gone for so long. I didn't even forget about the cat. I just had to run some errands. That's all it was. I have the cutest cat in the whole world. When I was flying here the other day with Roger, I was in a middle seat in the back row of the flight on a Boeing plane. And the two people around me were scratching Roger and he felt really happy and good because neither of them pointed out the fact that he only has one eye. They didn't even bring it up. They didn't even notice. Okay, I'm at the gym now because Colin's not getting out of work until three and I'm nervous to go to the gym at 3.30 because when I'm going out for social interactions, I need a lot of time to just like sit at home and like mentally prepare. I can't just like run home and shower and leave. That's just like not me. So I'm just here without him because I, I need hours to sit there in the living room and just like sit my wine and mentally prepare. So Planet Fitnesses scare the fuck out of me because of the amount of teenagers and the amount of people. But this one's like, okay. It's not great, but I've been doing 12, 3, 30 recently instead of running. I don't know why. I still like running more, but I've just been obsessed with The Bachelor. So I've been doing like 12, 3, 30 and like watching my shows. to leave the gym because I was using the Smith machine and the like I just learned how to use a Smith machine so I still don't really know what I'm doing but that like adjustable thing the adjustable lock was like on it and I couldn't figure out how to move it and there were so many people around and I don't like fidgeting with things while people are staring at me why do teenagers just stare and laugh and make it feel like they're laughing at you like i can't i fucking hate planet fitness like i don't i'm really anxious right now i feel like i'm gonna cry i think i'm just scared because i'm like i'm gonna be around so many people later i don't know tara why are you crying okay hold on i'm gonna sack up really quick and cut that shit out that was embarrassing um okay i'm done i'm gonna go home and shower <laughs> and we're gonna forget that that ever happened I walked through the front door crying and Colin was waiting on the staircase with a really good piece of cake for me. <gasps> he was eating cake and he left me the best bite. What a man. We got a cake the other day at the grocery store and we've just been hacking at it for a couple days. It's so good. Okay, I'm getting ready three hours in advance so I can sit on the couch in the living room and chill. I've been such a fucking mess today. Um. <laughs> A lot of people still are like really confused about like my type of social anxiety and I don't blame you um, cause people will see me like running around in like a pit at a concert by myself and be like, oh, she doesn't have social anxiety like I do and I could never do that. Like blah, blah, blah. My social anxiety comes from hanging out with people, hanging out with one person, hanging out with two people, hanging out with a group of people. That is where I get anxious. I'm completely fine if I'm by myself, but like around a lot of people, like at a concert per se, or like 
things like that. As long as I'm alone and I'm not like hanging out with someone, I'm fine. I don't know, the only way I can really like hang out with people is if I'm drunk. And when I do like hang out with people and have drinks, like I have a really good time. Like I love socializing when I'm drinking. It's just like easy for me, it's fun. I really like doing that sometimes. I almost like tried to seek therapy for that because I was kind of like, I wasn't really okay with the fact that I had to be drinking in order to like hang out with people that just didn't really sit right with me. So I was thinking about seeking help <laughs> for that for a while, but honestly, I'm just introverted. That's just how I am. And like, I'm not really mad at it. Like I don't really like like hanging out with people a lot. Like I'd rather be alone. I love being alone. So I was like, I don't really need to seek help for that. Like whenever I do want to go out and socialize, like I'll have a few drinks and I'll have fun. But other than that, like I just want to be by myself. That's all I want. So like, whatever. I came to terms with that. I'm fine with it. But like, I don't know how to ex really explain this. I feel it in LA sometimes, but not really. But whenever I leave Los Angeles, I even get anxious like in public settings, especially like the gym. Like there is no reason why I should have just left Planet Fitness because I felt like everybody was staring at me. Like no one's staring at me. I always think that whenever I leave the house now, I'm like, everyone's staring at me like, Tart, no one's staring at you. <laughs> Maybe they are, but like, who gives a fuck? Need to relax is what I need to do. Okay, I'm not doing like a full beat. I wanted to wear, I have this like really cute outfit that I wanted to wear, but um, I'm not stepping out all dripped out to go to the Olive Garden tonight. Like that's just not happening. I, <laughs> I feel like I'd stick out like a sore thumb. It is a cute outfit though, maybe I'll show you. But I'm not doing like a full beat right now. I'm just doing like my regular everyday makeup. I just um put this Charlotte Tilbury airbrush flawless finish powder just like on my face so that i'm not greasy because i get really oily so i just use this to like get rid of the oil and then i use my mario wait what my mario my makeup by mario highlighter and i just you know colin's so sweet and understanding he's so sweet and understanding and i love him and he saved the best piece of cake for me ever and he just popped the champagne without me and brought me a glass. I'm like, wait, I wasn't actually gonna start drinking this early. It's literally four o'clock. We're going to dinner at seven. I'm like, oh boy. Colin, can you come accompany me? I had to take your corner, I'm sorry. Okay. I was telling my vlog, I was like, I really wasn't gonna start drinking this early, but Colin brought me a glass of wine. I'm like, we aren't going out to dinner for another three hours. Well, I didn't want you. I was hoping the glass would help you be more decisive when you're getting ready because sometimes you start second guessing yourself when you're getting ready and i'm wearing a hoodie and leggings colin's being annoying because i'm finally in a good mood and he's asleep on the couch with all the shades drawn so i'm going to show you guys the outfit that i have been envisioning for it's really nothing special but i'm going to show you guys the outfit that i've been envisioning for the past week for this dinner that I can't actually wear to the dinner because I'll look ridiculous. Cause I think it's so cute. I, I've literally worn it before. No, I haven't. It's very similar to things that I've worn before. It's really nothing crazy, but I just like was really excited about it. I might still bring it because I wanted to film that TikTok, like the one that people have been taking on the beach to that g Easy song. I wanted to make that TikTok in front of the Olive Garden tonight in that outfit, but I don't want to actually wear that outfit to dinner. So Colin was like, just bring the outfit and then change into it after dinner and we can make the TikTok in the parking lot. I was like, oh, right. I was like, that could work, but we have to make sure all of your friends have peeled off before I start dropping it low in the Olive Garden parking lot in a whole different outfit than what I was wearing at dinner. They, We have to make sure that they're long gone before that happens, but. I'm actually really glad that I tried this on just now because I don't even like it. So now I'm not as sad as I was before. Well, I do kind of like it, but it's cute. But once I take off this puffer vest, it's not cute anymore. And I don't know why. I think it's because I ordered this skirt and I was expecting it to be shorter than it is. So like, it, there's not like a, a huge gap in between my shirt and the top of my skirt do you know what i mean i don't know it's just not what i thought it was gonna be but it's still cute i was also thinking of this outfit but with like a tube top instead but it's it's fucking freezing i don't know why i would wear this it's so cold out i would never wear this but i think this outfit would also be cute with this little tube top oh my god just not here in 
March. Wait till y'all see the outfit that I'm actually wearing that I chose over this. You're gonna die. You're gonna be like, oh, I've seen this movie before, babe. And I'm gonna be like, no way. No, you haven't. And you're gonna be like, yeah, I actually have. You wear it in every video. Ew, there's this yellow Jeep that drove by the house like three times today that I've seen. Why? Roger, who's in that yellow Jeep? Do you see? You only have one eye. Colin's sleeping. I'm getting drunk. Sorry. I'm going out tonight to the Olive Garden. There's nowhere I'd rather be. Sorry. Colin always laughs when my ankles randomly just crack really loud. My knees do it too. Hold on. <laughs> I can't even drop it low without breaking a bone. Cause I go hard. <laughs> we're ready. Oh my god, we're so hot. So ready for the Olive Garden Bay? No, I'm ready to go. Are you ready for the Olive Garden Bay? Look, you got a wink on my shirt. It's still drying. <laughs> <laughs> you wanna know what I'm gonna do? What? I don't wanna be embarrassing tonight. So I'm going to bring my G7X so that I'm less likely to vlog because, oh boy, when Tara goes out drinking, she vlogs a lot and it's really bad. So I'm going to bring this camera so that I'm less likely to vlog. I think that'll work out really well because I hate vlogging on this camera. Probably. Oh, I don't want to. <laughs> this one? Mm. Why don't you just bring this one? Because then I'll vlog all night and it'll be really embarrassing for you and everybody involved and myself and I don't want that. And it's too big to fit in my purse. Not my camera. I got an idea. Hello. I hate this camera. It's really bad. Good job. Okay, you guys, it's the moment of truth. Frankly, I don't recall if I vlogged or not. I'm really hoping I didn't. See, and I don't mean to leave you guys out of things. I love taking you along, but if I had brought this camera with me, I would wake up to... 45 minutes of footage of me just like drooling at the camera like I've never met these people before I didn't want to be like annoying and weird so I <laughs> So I brought this one. Oh No, yeah, there's a cup ball. I don't know what they are. Oh, that's not bad. It's just me in the car. Okay I behaved myself The entire time you were vlogging you were talking about how much you hate that camera And asking me why you brought it so I can't vlog on that camera. Though that was the point, though. Yeah, that's why I told you. And that. that was the point. Colin looks hot right now. Colin saying something about pancakes. Are we making box mix? Huh? Box pancakes. Box pancakes. Yeah. Oh, is it? I know. I always make pancakes from scratch. I remember. I woke up this morning and I remembered something about pancakes, and then Colin just said. That we're making pancakes for I was going to make them from scratch, but I guess now we're making box pancakes, whatever the fuck that is. I always make them from scratch, too, but I didn't know if you wanted to make them from scratch. What is a box pancake? Like box mix. When you buy pancake powder in the box. I've never done that before. You've never made a boxed pancake? Let me make my healthy oatmeal quinoa cakes. Ew. <laughs> Would you like to hear about my insurance policy? No! Oh. <laughs> it's nice out. Beautiful out. Come here for my thumbnail. Oh, I got a switch. I got to put on a t-shirt. Why? We're going to be inside. Who cares? It's too hot. Thank you. Valerie just texted me. What is the laxative you told me works within 10 minutes? I'm sick of nearly shitting myself at random times of the day. I got you. That's my favorite question. What's that TikTok sound? I love this question. Rectal laxatives from Dusalax. Hi. Can I get a small iced chai made with oat milk and an order of hash browns? And can I do a medium uh, berry burst energy? Colin, I'm so happy you got that. I was looking at that and I wanted to try it. I really wanted to try it. I don't know why I got an iced chai. It just looks like a cup of milk. 
I just, I just had a flashback. You remembered it? Yeah. Someone brought up that Billy was 19. I was like, oh, I was a fuck up when I was 19. I was like, wait, that was like really TMI. Yeah, he's when the, I just met Colin's fans. He's the baby of the group. Yeah. What did I like announce that to the table? Where were we when I said that? You announced it to, oh no. Uh, we were at the bar waiting for the table. Oh, even better. <laughs> It was really quiet. I was just like, yeah, I was a fuck up when I was 19. Cool. We at the grocery store. The only reason I mentioned, I think the only reason I mentioned boxed pancakes is because I just watched Maggie McDonald make pancakes in her vlog and she's Enough using. Maggie McDonald. I love Maggie McDonald. I'm always yakking about Maggie McDonald, but she used the Simply Mills pancakes, I think. Are we putting stuff in the pancakes or are they plain? We could put like brown sugar or like cinnamon in it or something. I mean chunks. Oh, no, we're gonna use fresh fruit and put it over the top. Okay. My sweatpants are here. You guys remember yesterday when I showed you that camo hoodie and I said, oh, I ordered the sweatpants. You wanna be in the picture? Yeah. Do you? Sure. Have a nice Easter. Thank you, you wow. too. Thank you. You're the first person all the years that wanted to be in the picture. Really? Yeah. Oh, I was like, sure. <laughs> it was what I do. This bottle is so cute, you guys. Look at this baking spray bottle. Oh, I want to keep it. You can keep it. It's pretty. My sweatpants I hate when sweatpants have one pocket on the back. It's funny how your slippers, like, low-key fit me. They don't fit me, but they don't slip off when I wear them. Colin's hard at work over here. Can I have one little taste of this? Yes. Oh. Okay. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> Why did you do that? I could not. I used to do this really disgusting thing. My childhood friends that lived in my neighborhood, please stand up. You remember, we had this dirty bucket that we kept in my garage, and we made this mixture all the time and just kept it in this dirty bucket in my garage. It was pancake mix, food coloring, water, and Elmer's glue. And we would mix it all what? in this bucket and we'd fucking eat it. Elmer's glue? We'd eat it. Why? And it just, I don't know. Do you hate yourself? I don't know why we would eat it. We didn't, That's not why we made it. We like used it for something. Um, oh my God. Mm -hmm. Oh, these are really good. good. I'm ending off the video. Oh, Lord. What? My hair. It's good. What has been your peak of the peak and pit of the day thus far? Today? Mm hmm. My pit has been my Camaro hasn't uh, gotten out of the tune shop yet. Mm hmm. It's been frustrating. He's had it for a week and a half longer than he said it was going to. But I just got off the phone with him and it's going to be done on Wednesday. And my peak was making breakfast with you. Oh, baby. Those pancakes were good. Mm hmm My pit was, there was a couple of seconds there in the grocery store where I thought I was going to fall over. Like, I, I I couldn't be in that baking aisle anymore. I was getting really overwhelmed by the flower. All the flower choices. Yeah. I don't know. That or the chai that I got mm. from Duncan was really bad. And my peak... Mm. My peak was when you said we were making pancakes and we went to the grocery store and got stuff to make pancakes. And then we came home and we made the pancakes. Malt oily. I made the pancakes. I made a couple. You flipped a couple. Yeah. I made the batter. Yeah. Oh, you mixed the batter. You mixed the batter. You mixed the batter. Mm-hmm. We love you so much. Say like and subscribe. Like and subscribe. Anything else you have to say, Sea Dog? Subscribe to my OnlyFans. For sure. If you want to follow me on any other platforms, my TikTok and my Instagram. <laughs> Honestly, don't feel like it. Love you. Bye.